two diamonds so to be like me um place uh, three particles or fixed in place in so this is a so plane three particles are placed in particle a has half particle a or mass evlo a particle b or mass evlo 2 ma particle 3 mass 3 ma particle 4 mass sorry particle 4 b mass is 4 ma okay this uh, particle for fourth particle is to be placed near the other three particles edo irukra vekkrom we don't know the position of the particle fourth we don't know the position now the position of b a ku nam positioning irukku origin irukku b or a distance b distance there okay and c or a distance on the 1.d distance there in terms of distance b at what x coordinate or y coordinate should particle b be placed wherever you place the particle or getting it yeah this is my position of the particle b after you know what you know is our x distance there will be y distance there will be The resultant are given to the x coordinate will be y coordinate will be positioned there. For example, if x is a line, then we will actually do that. We need to find the coordinates of the position d so that the net gravitational force acting on the particle d because of other particles is zero. We need to find. coordinates particles p so p in a condition or what condition what is the condition here net gravitational force acting on a net gravitational force acting on a is equal to zero that means force acting on a by b plus force acting on a by c plus force acting on a by d all are equal to zero the condition is satisfied pannona d oda particle enga vekkano the story so how do you solve this first of all we know that net force is going to be zero so we need to find force acting on a by c these particle c attract the particle a so this is attractive force negative direction so d mass of a mass of c divided by the distance is 1.5 square the 1.5 na am i putting la 1 plus 1 by 2 is 1.5 into la 3 by 2 na da 1.5 square means 3 by 2 d the whole square negative y cap direction so the force acting on a by b by a by b distance is d square this is positive j direction because particle b attract particle a particle so this is the direction upward direction is the positive direction romba easy da na plus slow va da ungalku pokka okay so then by simplification what we get here g <coughs> mass of a is mass of a mass of c is 3 of a okay ingeda okay. inda value na substitute pandren divide by 3 by 2 the square pannumbodhu na whole square pannumbodhu 3 by 2 square pannina 
by 4. 9 by 4 into d squared minus i cap. Formula simplification 9 by 4. 4 mele on the mark. 4. Denominator 9 rupon 3 and 3 cancel upon 3 9 so cancelled out divided by 3. 4 by 3 m a squared divided by d squared minus i cap. So now the simplified by f a c and then a simplified on that. So f a c is equal to 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3. M A squared by B squared, I can very easy. I mean, if A B is going to be a G, M A is M A, M B is equal to 2 M A, and the B mass of B is equal to 2 M A. So, 2 M A divided by D squared, positive J K direction. So, it gets G. 2mA squared divided by d squared of i cap. We have FAC, we have FAB, then we have FAC, FAB G is equal to what? 2mA squared by d squared i cap. F, A, D, we don't know. We don't know F A D. But by principle, addition of all forces F A C F A B plus F A D is equal to zero because net gravitational force acting on A is zero. We need to find F A D. F A D is equal to minus F A C minus F A B. Substitute for the FAC value in the battery minus the minus minus plus 4 by 3 m squared by d squared i cap minus g into 2 of m a squared by d squared FAB j cap. So, right now, this is my FAD. How do you solve it? Solving by the values. I don't know values. I'm going to give you common terms. G m a squared by d squared common. I'm going to give you 4 by 3i plus 2j. Look at the magnitude of 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 2m a squared by d squared into i j cap divided by 4 by 3 g m a squared by d squared i cap this is negative this is negative this is constant so the 2 is 2 is 2 is 2 m a squared d squared m a squared d squared g g cancelled remaining we get Minus 2 by 4 by 3. So theta is equal to tan inverse of minus 2 divided by 4 by 3. We get that theta is equal to minus 56.3 degree, which tells the, tells that the direction of FAT is minus 56.3 degree. So we place the position. The position vector of the force AD. Force AD. We place it here. This is the position of the D. The angle is 56.3 degree from positive axis. That is minus. Black to move over minus degree. 
சரி ஓகே வாட் இஸ் மேக்னிடியூட் ஆஃப் எஃபிடி இதுக்கு ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணா எஃபிடி கண்டுபிடிச்சிருவா நமக்கு என்ன கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்கோம் ஆறு கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்கோம்னா ஆறு இன் டர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் டீல கண்டுபிடிக்கலாம் இது மேக எஃபிடிக்கு மேக்னிடியூட் கண்டுபிடிங்க எஃபிடி ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணுவீங்களா ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணி என்ன வந்துடும் இந்த டேம் அப்படி இருக்கும் ஜி எம்ஏ ஸ்கொயர் பை டி ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணும்போது உங்களுக்கு என்ன வந்துடும்னா டூ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ எயிட் ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணும்போது ஸ்கொயர்டு ஹோல் டேம் ஸ்கொயர்டு ரூட் அவுட் அப்படியே வந்துடும் இது வந்து ரூட் எடுத்து ஸ்கொயர் பண்ணால் ஃபோர் பை த்ரீ ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் மைனஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஃபோர் அது ரூட் அவுட் வழியும் டூ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ எயிட் கொஞ்சம் ஒர்க் அவுட் பண்ணி பாருங்க திஸ் இஸ் த மேக்னிடியூட் ஆஃப் எஃபிடி மேக்னிட்டியூட் G M A M D divided by the R vector, R squared. The vector held up the value and the vector held up the value. A vector don't use the vector. So, if the left hand side are equal, the right hand side, right hand side quantities are also equal. But you have to equate the right hand sides. GMA squared by D squared 2.38 is equal to GMA. What is the value of MD? MD is equal to 4 into MA. 4 into MA divided by R squared. G cancelled, MA squared cancelled. We need to find the R squared value. So, R squared is equal to cross product, T squared, we have 4 here, 2.3 is denominator of the row. So, R squared to what? The two terms are going to be 2 terms. Na, D is going to be 4 by 2.38 or 2 terms are going to be 1.54. So, R is equal to 1.54 D. So we get the value of R. This we are going to diagram the diagram. R This is the R value. The angle is 56.4. R value is 1.54 D. The result is going to be the result. 1.54 d cos 56.4 1.54 d sin 56.4 that means this is a x value this is a y value we need to find the x coordinate by using this process so x coordinate is equal to 1.54 d into cos 56.3 y value is equal to 1.54 d into sin 56.3 by simplification we get the result the x component force okay all are minus yeah bracket la minus minus 56.3 minus 56.3 x component value is 0.713 y component value is Minus 1.07. From figure 2 spheres of mass m and 